is a good morning. It is indeed a good morning. Well. Wow. Right, I'm supposed to be finding... The Jarl's house, Carl's, and he says... Go across the river... <coughs> and down a ways, if I remember correctly. Not entirely sure that I do. But I'm going to... Give it a shot anyway. This is a very nice day. False cars. Beautiful. Wonder who lives up here. Miners, probably. What did he say? Follow the river north. Or upstream, I suppose. Till you find... Death bell. Until you find the place where it... I don't know. I can't remember. He said it yesterday. Suppose I'll find it sooner or later. Or I could get completely and utterly lost. We'll see. Okay, here's the creek. And then we follow the creek upstream, yes? But as soon? Feel like being cautious in this part of the woods. I'm not entirely sure why I feel that way, I just do. Well, perhaps because there's... Oh, there's somebody up here. I'm going to assume that this must be, uh, the brothers, uh, Horkin or whatever these uh, the names were. Hi. What can I do for a fellow Nord? So, uh... You and your brother, I assume, are the Jarl's housecarls? Or you were? Well, you're going to be anyway. You and Ulgar are to resume your duties as the Jarl Agnar's housecarls. The Unvalders are making trouble again? Yep. Very well. It was bound to happen sooner or later. Let Agnar know. We will prepare and then head down. Of course. You two... You two lived up here long? It's kind of a ways from the village. Our whole lives. We were born and raised here, as were our parents before us, and their parents before them. Our great-grandparents were the last ones to be raised at Hjorganar Manor. I can't imagine how different their lives were from ours. Why did your family leave the manor? In the war a hundred years ago, an Unvalder raiding party sacked it, destroying much of what our family owned. They rebuilt most of it, but then they decided it was no good. They moved out here and built this cabin, and our family has lived here since. Oh. I noticed, uh... Neither of you have wives or children. Is that on purpose, or...? We've certainly tried, but neither of us managed to find someone yet. Olgar was sweet on a girl once, but then she turned out to be a bandit kingpin and he had to kill her. <laughs> yeah, that, uh... Sorry for laughing, that must have been devastating for him. Eh, he's a light-hearted guy. He got over it. <laughs> Plus, collapsing an entire bandit warband from the inside was great fun for him. And what about you, huh? I've had my share of fancies, but I haven't found the right one yet. 
Do not worry for us. Hjorgenar blood is strong. It will live on. All right. It was good talking to you, and uh, good luck on your search. As it was with you, my friend. Safe travels. Of course. And you must be Ulgar? He's not exactly the talkative sort, is he? Alright then. I'll go tell Agnar you're on your way. Because I don't know what else I would be doing here. Right. Followed the river up. The creek. I should probably follow it back down before I get lost. They seem like fun sorts. I can see that the... Uh, the people of Falskar seem to have a common sense of humor. What were their names? Ulgar was the one who didn't talk, obviously, and then who, who was the other one? Svegard? I think that was right. Lopter had a similar sense of humor. He was a funny man once upon a time, and then... He got... different. Obsessed. Then he left. It's not true. He didn't just leave. I did kind of... I did kind of tell him to get out and... Well, I didn't mean it. But he took it seriously and here we are. Right. Jarl Agnar. Where might he be? That doesn't look good. Oh dear. It's simple, Agnar! And I'll only ask one more time. Let us search, and then we'll leave. Who's this? You will do no such thing. I don't know what you're up to, Ingvar. But you will leave <coughs> my people be. Well, that's Ingvar. You will let us search, or else. Oh, good. Or else what? Go back to Stalgard, Ingvar. You are not welcome here. Leave me and my people in peace. I'll be back, and you'll regret this. Your whole town will. Got sick of Stalgard already? <laughs> Here on vacation, are we? Shut up, both of you. Svegard, Ulgar, it's good to see you two again. Indeed. It has been too long, my friend. How may we serve you, my king? Svegard, we have been over this. <laughs> Sorry. How may we be of assistance, Agnar? Ingvar is up to something. Hmm. <laughs> Big surprise there. I like him. He demanded to search the town, and has mobilized his entire army. You what? His entire army? He is up to something for sure. I fear he may make a move on Amber Creek or Borwald. I think you two need to be here. Of course, Agnar. Our swords are yours. Very good. Then we must figure out what. Oh, Brother Dorlo, have you decided to help? Ingvar, not bastard. What happened? He came to the Priory, demanding to search the place. We let him search the main temple. And when he wanted to search the private quarters, Brother Colin stepped in. His men simply killed him. And searched the place anyway. They tore it apart. We buried him, cleaned up, and grabbed our weapons. 
We were to remain neutral until provoked. And Ingvar just hit the beehive with the stick. Wherever you need us, we sons of Shore will be there. Good grief, man. We're standing hey, brother, right here. Collins, be guided swiftly to Sovereign Guard. I am glad you decided to fight. This may be worse than we thought. What could Ingvar possibly want? He tried to search the Priory and then Amber Creek. Why hasn't he touched Borvald? Probably because that's his next stop. Borvald! Either he has already been there, or he is headed there now. Jarl Varfred must be warned. Then we aren't leaving your side. You're in too much danger. Olgar is right. And I must stay to mourn. And to think. And that just leaves our friend here. Who, me? Certainly our kinsman is up to the task, hmm? <laughs> that just leaves you. We'll stay here and look at guard reports. Maybe we can figure out exactly what Ingvar wants. Okay. Go to Borwald. The city on the plateau to the east. It's been locked down due to the increased bandit activity. But his house car should let you in. Tell him what has happened. We are on the brink of war. One that could be bigger than any this land has seen before. Warn Jarl Valfred. Time is of the essence. Now go! Of course, Jarl Ragnar. But, uh, question before I leave. Would Ingvar really attack Borvald? It's kind of exposed. Don't you think that's a bit... You know, I... It wouldn't be the first time his family has done something like this. In the war a hundred years ago, they tried to take the city. Fortunately, it was later in the war, and Sevedil's Bor Valdur had his army prepared for the attack. However, if Ingvar attacks now, Jarl Valfred will be completely unprepared. Borvald is in very great danger. All right. Point taken. Safe travels. You too. Stay safe. Great. Now where did I put that horse? Where did I put me horse? Probably over by the inn. Oh dear. That man does not look friendly. That Ingvar. Hmm. There you are. Come on, old girl. We've got a Jarl to warn. You know, Ingvar kind of reminds me... No, he doesn't. He's much more serious than Mopdir was. But they both have that same... That same look in their eye. They're obsessed with something. They won't stop looking, no matter what. It's not a good look. Uh, I can't believe he sacked the monastery. How did he get there without going through Amber Creek? There must be another road around somewhere that I'm not familiar with. Well, it doesn't look like Borvald is under attack right at the moment. I still have to get there. Sooner rather than later. Oh, this is going to be... pain. Yes, it is. You know, 
There's nothing worse. There's nothing worse or more tedious than the travel to get from one place to another. Especially when the battle is involved. Well, I assume a battle will be in. Shit. That was Invar. Yes, it was. Alright, old girl, we've got the beat feet. And I understand you're as tired as I am. Oh, good. Looks like he cleaned up the place a little bit. I still haven't asked that blacksmith to deal with the armor. But I think it fits me. I'm not sure this is a battle that would warrant it. Huh, not sure there's to be a battle in the first place, but I can smell it. It's... <laughs> maybe it's just my nerves. Well, I'm faster than Ingvar, this should buy us some time at least. You stay here, horse. This is going to be... fun. <laughs>